Bravo, bravo. Did you like that film? Well, I did. It ticked all my boxes. Factoids, groovy music, and facial hair. In fact, I like this film so much, I bought the company. I mean, I like this film so much, I bought the filmmaker. No, I like this film so much, I called up the filmmaker and I gave him a job here at Current TV. That's right, I'm all powerful. So, without further ado, let's meet former current filmmaker turned promo manager, John Brooks. Welcome to Meerkat Manor, welcome to the show, and that is a beautiful moustache you have. Thanks. I grew it myself on my face. On his face. John, are you ready to play Fact Me Till I Fart? Yes, I am. All right. Fact me till I fart, go. A moustache will grow on your face for three weeks, even after you die. The first person to ever grow a moustache was Lord Admiral Horatio Ashbury in 1802. It was grown by accident when his beard was blown off by a backfiring Gatling gun during a skirmish in the Napoleonic War. Eskimos cannot grow moustaches, only goatees, which is very frustrating for them. During the recording of the Beatles album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Ringo wore a moustache that was made of pure ivory. All right, big shot, you think you're clever? <laughs> Let's see if you're tough enough to play What Tash Am I with the help of Cherie Blair? Often sported by a cat, I am narrow, beginning at the middle of the upper lip and pulled to the side with ends pointed slightly upward. Off magnum? Oh, you're close, but you're not right. It's the English. I am long with downward pointing ends ending beyond the chin, all the better to season my dim sum. Pork ponce? Wrong! Gay referee. Ooh, it's the Fu Manchu. I need you to go to France and turn into a poppy. My whiskers grow forth from both the upper lip and cheeks and curl upwards. Is it a Peppard's Willy Warmer? <coughs> Look at Turkish handyman. Turkish handyman. No! It's the Imperial. Well done, John. You scored a new point. So you win a dance with me, the LaRoche. And here's a little fact of my own. The British Empire has shrunk in direct proportion to the size of our ruler's lip fluff. I find it hypnotic. Anyway, have a type now, so get out your pen and papers and make notes for Father Christmas while I get the next film warmed up. It's called Why Am I Going Grey? And it's about why some people go at grey at 25. And Paul McCartney's shock of a hairdo, maybe. Don't go away now. <laughs>